again. This is the third installment of looking at moment by moment and a closer look at how there is different ways to play this hymn and using expression on a suction reed organ. Last time we looked at stops and different ways of providing colors and just different ways of expressing your music through the stop use. This time I'm going to try to cover something a little more difficult, the treadles. So if you would like to play with even more sounds and colors in your music, the control of the treadles makes a huge difference to the sounds of the music that you are making. A pressure harmonium is known for its ability for expression. When the expression stop is engaged, the instant you stop treadling, the sound stops instantly, giving you 100% control of the sound. A suction reed organ is not the same. If you stop treadling, it can just keep going and going and going. There is no stopping it. You have to wait till the reservoir relaxes and you lose that vacuum. So it needs to be played very much differently than a pressure harmonium. There is more to a reed organ than just stop changes and the selections that you choose and the use of the knee lever and grand organ. Once you add the control of the treadles, which is operated by you, it separates this keyboard instrument from all other keyboard instruments which makes this instrument one of a kind. The trick is that the more stops that you use and the more notes that are used, the treadle speed becomes quite variable and dynamic, especially if you use them for expression. I think the easiest relation to show or an analogy to show this is uh, playing a reed organ with treadle expression is like riding a bicycle with no brakes. You're riding uphill all the time. Suppose you did find a hill that lasts forever. Sometimes the hill can be quite steep and you have to work very hard to keep moving at a controlled speed. When you stop pedaling, you will come to a fast stop. The slower your speed, the harder it is to keep steady without crashing. Other times the hill is just a slight grade where you can easily keep the speed and you can stop pedaling altogether or you can slow down to enjoy the scenery. On these type of hills you will eventually stop but you have time to coast and relax and it's easy to keep control. Now comparing this to a suction reed organ, the grade of the hill are the amount of stops and notes used and the speed is your volume. Therefore on a bike the steeper the hill, the more you will need to pedal for a steady pace. When you stop pedaling, your bike will quickly crash. On a reed organ, the more notes and stops used, the more you need to treadle for a steady volume. If you stop treadling, your music will quickly crash. But let's say you're playing a reed organ with only a foundation stop pulled and no couplers. You will be able to easily pedal through your passages but if you wanted less volume, it will take some time to coast when you stop pedaling. Always remember, there are no brakes on a reed organ, and this is the biggest challenge of playing a reed organ, when you cannot slow it down. However, there is little tricks you can do to help put on the brakes and slow the volume down and create a decrescendo, which will give you expression in your music. The first trick you can do is add a vox humana. It will create more wind needed and it will create more expression because you can decrescendo faster. Works great on soft passages. Another trick you can do is add more bass notes. Suppose you're coming to an end of a phrase and you need de to decrescendo and what you can do is add an octave to, the, uh, to your last note to use more wind. Add a fifth to that just to help use more air and it will actually decrescendo faster. The most common one I use is uh, a term I call snuffing it and that's to use the grand organ where often you will come to a climax of the music and you need to get down to the next p portion of the music where it is very soft. With the grand organ you can create that climax drain out the reservoir and just before it dies 
Make sure you get your hands off for a clean cut off and then treadle very softly again, coming back into your new phrase, which will be a very soft phrase. So that's another trick of putting on the brakes. To play a reed organ, controlling the treadles may not be very easy for all people. It is just not natural. It, uh, I've always said that to play a reed organ, you need to disconnect your brain from your feet and connect them to your emotions. It's kind of deep, but there's some truth in it because it's, you have to, it's completely separate from your brain. You have to, it's like dancing without dancing to the rhythm. It's like uh, patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. It's just not natural. You can do it, but you have to concentrate and normally it just doesn't come naturally. But with the reed organ, eventually it does come naturally with practice. And there are a few ways you can do this. Since using treadles for expression is something I originally learned on my own before I read about it in books, it's actually there. This is not a new concept. The, uh, I came up with my own terms that I most commonly use for types of motions I use on the treadles. Uh, there are five types, and let's look at each one. Build it up. This is where you gradually treadle faster to provide a greater vacuum in the reservoir. The greater the vacuum, the louder and brighter the reeds become. Coast or relax, which is your decrescendo. This is like coasting on a bicycle, where you completely stop feet movement or treadle much slower at a controlled rate as the reservoir relaxes. Kick it. This is like a sforzando. This is for a fast increase in sound by depressing the treadle very quickly. Sometimes a second treadle will have to immediately follow for a very fast crescendo. Then we have a two foot fade. This is where you can slowly die away or fade away your music. It is often at the end of a piece when a controlled and gradual fade out is needed. Using both feet at the same time as part of the final fade out increases your ability to keep the fade out controlled and even. You're actually bypassing the treadle transfer between the two feet, which at very, uh, very uh, soft volumes, it's very hard to do. So if you use two feet at the same time, it avoids at least one treadle transfer. So that is one way of um, fading out without hearing any treadle transfers. And it really helps you control that fade out to, to nothing or to very, very, very soft. Snuff it. This is a very fast decrescendo where you can put on the brakes, but many notes and full organ are needed to make this happen. The more notes you use, especially if you have a sub bass, the faster you can take a fully collapsed reservoir and bring it back to a neutral position. For example, many passages of music may have a soft section, followed by a loud section, followed again by a very soft section. This is your cue to bring in the grand organ where you can start out soft, bring in the grand organ, and then snuff it at that point with the grand organ. Stop treadling. Um, make your climax as loud as possible, and then let the reservoir drain as fast as possible so you can get back to your soft passage again.
foot fade. I'm also adding extra bass notes to help with that until it fades away. So like any other expressive instrument, the person playing it needs to know how to use it. A number of years ago, my daughter had violin lessons, and the first thing she was taught was to how to hold the violin. And it was just the same repetitive moment. She would have to hold the violin up in a certain way, and then how to bring it to her neck. And it was just a week of just doing that. No playing whatsoever. It was just technique and proper technique. And that's how violins end up sounding so good, because you're taught technique. On reed organs, it's technique is really never shown. So this is some ideas on how you can learn how to practice the technique of treadle control and eventually how to use it in your music. And it will actually become second nature eventually and uh, just really adds to your music. So if you're interested in how to do this, there are six easy steps to start to practice. First, using a diapason or melodia foundation, play a four note C chord in the middle of the keyboard, holding it. Treadle as soft as possible, keeping the tone even, with no noticeable transfer between the treadles, and do this for a few minutes. Play the same chord in the bass and repeat two and three. You will notice it will immediately require more air, which is harder to control with your treadles. Gradually add more stops now. As you add more stops, the treadle control becomes even harder. As you add more chords or more fingers and more notes, it becomes harder. So the more wind you use, it's like that bicycle, it's harder to climb that hill, and same thing with the organ. It's harder to play steady on a reed organ with lots of notes. But if you can do that, then you have control of the reed organ. The last step would be to gradually increase and decrease the sound. This is where you're starting to build up your phrases and lower your phrases. Once you get that phrasing and the feeling of the response of the reservoir and the response of the treadles on that particular organ, with those particular stops, with those particular notes. It's, very, it's a very variable uh, scenario that can happen with any organ because every organ is different. And uh, I can't really tell you how to play yours because yours is going to be very different than mine. But generally, it just once you get that feeling on that particular instrument, you start getting the feeling for other instruments. And you can jump into any organ at that point and play it and you won't have problems with the expression on it unless it's got a giant hole in the reservoir and you can't <laughs> keep the air in it at all. So this will work on organs that have a good air system. It's easiest with organs with a good air system. If they're very leaky it makes it much harder and you won't be able to, to uh, do expression very effectively. So as I said before, once you get the control of the treadles, it becomes second nature to your music and it just gets easier all the time and you won't even think about it anymore. So thank you everybody for listening and watching these videos. Uh, I appreciate all the comments and I uh, hope to have some more videos with further instructions later on uh, in the coming months. Take care. Bye now.